Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're gonna show you the manufacturing process of a giant ship propeller alongside a number of other awesome factory production processes. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. The Azipod is an electric propulsion system for ships. Instead of mechanical units, it has a powerful motor that curbs the carbon emissions and significantly improves the ship's propulsion power. Also, the Azipod is 360 degrees rotatable. This functionality takes maneuverability of the vessel to a whole new level. At ABB, its manufacturing starts with the assembly of a fourth generation motor. From design to operation, each aspect is measured and tested carefully. Once the engine is ready, it is then installed in the propeller shell. The dynamics of the pod shape and propeller against fluids also determines the overall results. Rolls-Royce has always used cutting edge and impressive technology, and the Trent XWB is the epitome of their focus. It is the most common and fuel efficient Airbus engine in the world. The Trent is fundamentally based on a massive turbine comprised of 20,000 components. The majority of its installation is done by hand. A single unit costs 30 million euros and it consists of 22 titanium blades. Each engine produces 330 kilonewtons of thrust and will face temperatures of up to 2000 degrees Celsius. Thanks to Rolls-Royce engineers, they made it less noisy and 15% more efficient in terms of fuel consumption. That may ultimately affect your air travel experience.
Howard has established itself as the leading manufacturer of the production units for rotor blades. Here we can see an inside view of where Howard's equipment can be seen in action. Wind blades have to face lifting forces throughout their lifespan. This is why the top and bottom blade shells are bonded together around a set of shear webs. These significantly enhance the strength of the wind blade, but their installation also demands accurate fitting. Finished webs of over 70 meters in length and weighing more than 2 tons are presented vertically. The sheared web positioner picks up the shear web and transports them to the mold, positioning these blades with an incredible precision. The Hausler VRM is a universal roller bending machine primarily used for turning large metal sheets into cylindrical shapes. Here you can see it apply 600 tons of force to bend the 30 meter long and 3 meter wide metal sheet. The upper and lower hydraulic supports determine the diameter of the cylindrical ring. Once the sheets get into the form of a ring, it is welded together by an expert hand. The prepared rings are used in the construction of large sized equipment. Last but not least, you will see how Midas manufactures its tires. First off, the rubber compound is heated and calendared by machines. Then the yield is put through extruder machines. Extrusion yields it into a continuous rubber sheet. These sheets are then cooled and cut to a tire length. 
Next, a coating machine is used for coating both sides of nylon, steel, and polyester with rubber. These sheets are placed under the tread of the tire. Next, the bead core of the tire is formed by aligning steel wires with rubber. A bead wire prevents vibrations during driving. The mixed compound is also used for rubber coating. Next, all the components are assembled using a tire builder drum. Lastly, tires are placed in a mold and pressed by a machine. This process takes two hours for an agricultural tire. Before dispatch, it is further tested for quality insurance. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.